this experiment I will go to try electrolyze Na NaOH caustic soda sodium sodium hydroxide and I hope to get some sodium metal at the cathode so this is the, the anode the, the, the stainless steel soup dipper is an anode and this is the cathode this is the plus and this is uh, the power supply this is just a, a battery charger and for safety to prevent short circuit I put a, a bulb here I put a halogen bulb and series so when uh, when the, when the, el when the electrodes touch each other the the halogen bulb will, will ignite instead of short circuiting. First, some safety problems. NaOH, particularly liquid NaOH, is a very dangerous chemical. It can cause burns and um, and and, uh, and attacks virtually every plastic or aluminum. So, safety is very uh, important. And that's why I put this here. When, when some splashes might occur, it, it prevents getting it uh, here. Normally, when you do do this, I have this is behind uh, Lexan, so uh, this is safe. But when you don't do this, always use a, a face mask and use gloves and use gloves to handle the to handle the NaOH. Okay, I'm going to fill the the, the crucible and then uh, and then heat it up until it melts. This experiment I will go to try electrolyze Na NaOH caustic soda sodium sodium hydroxide and I hope to get some sodium metal at the cathode. So this is the, the anode, the, the, the stainless steel soup dipper is an anode, and this is the cathode, this is the plus, and this is uh, the power supply, this is just a, a battery charger, and for safety to prevent short circuit. Certainly, I've put a, a bulb here. I put a halogen bulb and series. So when uh, when, the, when, the, when the electrodes touch each other, the, the halogen bulb will, will ignite instead of short circuiting. First, some safety problems. NaOH, particularly liquid NaOH, is a very dangerous chemical. It can cause burns and um, and. And, uh, and attacks virtually every plastic or aluminum, so safety is very uh, important. And that's why I put this here. When, when some splashes might occur, it, it prevents getting it uh, here. Normally when you do, do this, I have this is behind uh, Lexan, so uh, this is safe. But when you don't do this, always use a, a face mask and use gloves. And use gloves to handle the to handle the NaOH. Okay, I'm going to fill the the, the crucible and then uh, and then heat it up until it melts. In case you see here, you see sodium uh, metal bubbles. The small grey bubbles are sodium metal. Uh, developed along the, along the uh, in the center which they cut out, but they drift towards the edge. And the problem is now to fix the sodium, uh, the, the small sodium uh, pieces out of the bulb. I tried it with, uh, with this piece, but it doesn't take it, them out. Okay, I'll try it then. Okay, the temperature is not close to uh, freezing. It's about 320 uh, degrees. Close to freezing. And here, yeah, this is another, sometimes, it's, uh, it's, it's, it explodes because it, uh, the water coming, uh, water was released at the, at the anode combined with the sodium metal that makes this uh, cut. It's a little bit of a, a, a report. So now there's a little bit forming sodium metal but under the crust of the NaOH. Yes, that's another one. I think that you turn off the flame, otherwise it gets too, too hot. It still has to weigh the, the final way how to uh, separate it. How to separate the, the NaO, the sodium metal from the from the from the light bulb.
So this is the first yield. This is a small uh, uh, lamp oil, and here you see a small bullet, small balls of of sodium metal in it. This is just uh, still frozen, frozen NA, uh, NaOH with a uh, with a little bit uh, iron oxide with it. But this is uh, so. This is the first yield.